Viewers and subscribers, what a one a blessed and wonderful Monday morning to each and every person out there tuning into on the spot news media. Now, my peeps, I don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. So, now the morning, my peeps, I have a few stories for share with you, the regular members of Chan Public, and also members of the diaspora. So, please like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going in Jamaica. So, watch this now, my peeps. Now, the morning, we're going to kick it off with West Kingston stories. Yeah, man, may I tell you. So, yesterday was the funeral of the top jungle dan, the old dirty. Kind of boy known as Ichipang, yeah, man, the original Damani Taylor said to have been laid to eternal torment. Can I rest now in that for Ichipang yesterday? Now we get some pictures Ichipang lay down in a board box in a white and gold suit and some bossy black shoes, yeah, man. Well carved out, well neat in a casket. Nah no lie. The parlor people them do a pretty job for reconstruct the whole thing and draw him little beard and make him look kind of semi decent and go down in a hole. But a whole heap of things I go continue go on in the top jungle area. I'm one of the ones and ones them for be on the lookout, to be on the alert because criminal elements are Definitely just waiting for the curfew lift. And speaking about curfew, the curfew lift sometime this morning. Yeah, man. So anything can go on. Security forces was most definitely out in their numbers yesterday trying to prevent any form of attacks from rivals and or any form of gun salute from criminal elements aligned to the man Taylor, a.k.a. Ichipang. Now, the police release a list of criminal elements that is most definitely wanted by them. Yeah, man. Well, I give the squad of them a helping hand. Because I noticed that they never post a picture 
beside some of the criminal elements names them just post them names and said that them wanted well for those of you out there who knows these faces attributed to the names that i'll be calling please alert the police and more than likely if them are turning themselves already they are not in the community but they are in other communities in jamaica as far back as in Westmoreland, and that is where we get to understand that one of the criminal elements listed is also in that parish so persons in and around all these communities please be on the lookout for these criminal elements and link the squad of them if you don't see them and as always if you don't trust the squad of them link on the spot news media or any like-minded vlogger furnish us with the information and we will most definitely pass it on to the relevant authorities who can come walk them out or chalk them out now the first man presently on your screen the police identify him as Colin Townsend, otherwise known as Jojo in the streets. Well, this is a close-up picture of Jojo presently on your screen. So if you know this criminal element here, Colin Townsend, aka Jojo, which is also, by the way, a top knackis and clappis aligned to the no deceased Ichipang. Yeah, man, link up. The squad of them. Now the next man presently on your screen has since been identified by the police as Javan Ferguson. Now this criminal element here is also known in the criminal underworld as Binti. A known knackis and clappis. A old dirty kind of boy to be feared. Yeah man. So if this criminal element here is presently in your community, please link up the squad of them. Now, this next criminal element here presently on your screen, identified as Neil Williams, but more popularly known in the criminal underworld as Killer Bean, and some may call him Pumpkin. This criminal element here is most definitely wanted and is to be considered armed and dangerous so be very careful whilst approaching yeah man now this next one here identified by the police as romario barrett but more popularly known in the criminal underworld as papa is also most definitely wanted by the police yeah man this criminal element here is another top knackis and clappis from the top jungle community and is also to be considered armed and dangerous so if you see him make sure you link the squad of them because walk out or chalk out should most definitely be the order of the day now the next one that the police them list has also wanted but have not gotten a picture for him as yet. He has been identified as Odin Thomas, otherwise known as Leanhead. Yeah man, Leanhead, I can get a picture real soon and make you famous. Because persons out there need to know the faces of these criminal elements continuously wreaking havoc. In the streets of jungle and its general environs now the next man on your screen he has been listed as wanted many times turning himself back out in the streets commit himself again but the squad of them say he's now wanted again we are talking about this brother here, tyreek aka hitis yeah man a no no dirty kind of boy in the streets run go a country but of course, on the spot news media, drop a vlog and force him out of the country because the country people him see it and link me and say on the spot, he must leave. Yeah, man. And he indeed left and he's back in the streets committing himself again. Now he's wanted by the squad of them. 
And this next brother here presently on your screen, known as Begs or Bobo. The regular ones and ones them who has been tuning into on the spot news media over the past couple of months where I featured the whole Ichipang story would have known that Begs, aka Bobo, would have been the man we clap with Ichipang. Yeah man, send him gone and shut eye country land. So this brother here is most definitely wanted by the police. The last place he was seen is in the Westmoreland Police Division. Him and the one of them call Short Man. So both of them did involve in other knockings and clappings there. Now we have some other people that is wanted by the police. And we need some picture for them. The criminal element known as Bodhi, the one known as Naldo, the one known as Timar, O'Neill and also Chin. All of them there definitely wanted by the police. So anyone out know there, we know them criminal element here. Yeah? And as I say, once you see them, link up the squad of them. Because walk out or chalk out should most definitely be the order of the day. And all I want to say, I go on presently, you know, in the top jungle, Jonestown, Craigtown space, you know. All of the war they want to see jump off right you now. You have a little brother in a prison with them call 90. He might fuel the thing. And a little man who is presently on your screen, who is no longer among the land of the living, but a writer so it start from. Now this criminal element here presently on your screen has since been identified as Ziggy. Now on the spot news media most definitely I forgot to give you the whole Ziggy story even though he's no longer among the land of the living. So you can get a better understanding of where the ongoing gang conflict is concerned. So you can understand where it come from and how Ichipang rose to prominence. It's because of this criminal element here known as Ziggy. And as I say, it's a mighty long story. So I will most definitely have to give you a Ziggy story in subsequent newscast. Yeah, man. But anyway, make we continue. Now, still in the Kingston Western Police Division, Friday morning at the wee hours, sometime at the one o'clock bells, the police them clap with this brother, 37 year old Nakeem Mullins otherwise known as Jack Diamond. So it's either Akeem or Nakeem Mullins. We're not sure of the accuracy of the first name, but this is him presently on your screen. Now, we are going to hear from the head of the Kingston Western Police Division, that is Michael Phipps, as he provides more details into the knockings and clappings of Jack Diamond. Then of course, on the Spot News Media, I got to give you the official report as to how the police them get for slapping with bilious. So on the Spot News Media is refuting the claims of the citizenry of Sunlight Street who is refuting the claims of the police. These citizens are criminal sympathizers, criminal enablers who should not be given a voice at all because they're just protecting their own interests because the police took the life of one of their so-called protectors. Yeah, man. Now we are going to hear from head of the Kingston Western Police Division, Senior Superintendent Michael Phipps, as he provides some details into that knockings and clappings. Listen. Somewhere about 12.35 a.m., a team of police officers from the Kingston Western Division were traveling in a marked police vehicle and mobile patrol along Sunlight Street when the said white pro box turned onto Sunlight Street from Maxfield Avenue into the path of the service vehicle where they made a sudden stop. One man exited the said pro box, ran, after which the driver exited, opened gunfire at the police who returned the fire, hitting him and recovered a Glock pistol with two rounds. 
He has since been identified as Nakim Mullins, otherwise called Jocker Diamond, and he's the leader of the Top Sunlight Street Gang. He has since been pronounced dead at the Kingston Public Hospital. We have since received threats that men from the area will be carrying out attacks against our police officers. I would really like to warn these persons not to carry out any such threats. We will advise also that our officers have been placed on high alert and are very prepared to defend any action that may threaten our safety and security. Now my peeps, let me tell you know exactly how Jack a Diamond lost his life. Now you see in the midst of all slackness more time, there is always a little crasmite lurking and a girl make Jack a Diamond buck up in a police and police yam him food. Yeah man. So a little old crasmite cause all of that. Now a youth and a girl have a little fiction over Fitzgerald Avenue. And the girl knife up the youth in her neck. Now the youth is known as Barry. Now Barry is related to a known crasmite from Tap Sunlight Street known as Shani. And Shani from Tap Sunlight Street is the cousin in law for Jack Diamond. Now, what go on now is that Shani get in a Jack of Diamond head and tell him to go page the girl. So, Jack of Diamond round up one of him like a soldier, a youth known as Maurice Fowler, but them call him Slim in the streets. And the two of them roll go over there, go page the girl. So, what them go on with now, when time them a page the girl, Jack of Diamond pop off him glock. And clap a one can in the girl leg and tell her, say, yo, lift up out of Fitzgerald and a come back in this. Because we run the ground. So, the people them see where I go on and call the police them. So, the police them answer to the call and I come back. So, after him clap the can in the girl foot now, what Jack Diamond go on with him? Call the pro box to come pick them up to carry them back across. So, when the driver come now, him jumping at the driver's seat, the driver go round at the back and him drive off with him gun pan the window and when time him a drive back cross now him and the squad of them yeah he make four so you don't know say officer yeah man pick on team now take them type of check there so when time him see the squad of them the man at the back jump out and Jack Diamond jump out and start knock it and clap it and of course the fire was returned because little did he know, and I'm pretty sure by now he would have known because he would have listened to on the spot news media over the years that Officer Yeman Pican team was properly trained right here presently on your screen at the agriculture school in Portland where them learn how to plant can in a dirty boy tomok and that is exactly what they did. And of course also following exactly what the commission of police clearly stated that his police got trained to fire at center mass mean simply your chest plate at deso squad them learn for plan can yeah man and that is how jack a diamond met his demise now to all of the youths and youths them out there who look up to people like jack a diamond and slim as dons and persons who you want to be like. Take note, Officer Yeman Pick and Team, them not take leave, them not sick, them always up and gunning, ever present and ready for lay your six feet under. So I would advise you to look somewhere else, man. Try find another figure to emulate. Do not emulate figures of that of Chaka Diamond because your end will definitely be no different. So try and become a lawyer, doctor, teacher, police, soldier, garbage man, firefighter, a businessman, even a footballer, DJ even. There are many other ways out there for you to earn other than becoming a common criminal. Yeah man, a word to the wise.
So anyway, my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscasts. On The Spot News Media. Yeah, man. <laughs>